Hi, I'm Kimberly Skeed. I'm a researcher here at the Ontario Institute for Cancer Research, and I am really excited to answer your questions about cancer and health outcomes. Hi, my name is Matt, and my question is, how does our blood change as we age? Thanks, Matt. That's a fantastic question. There are so many reasons why it's important for us to understand how our blood changes as we age. Blood is one of the most transient tissues. It travels through our entire body. It touches every single one of our organs. And because of this, it can act as a really important messenger and tell us when things are starting to go wrong in our body. When are we starting to see these first signatures of disease emerging? Recently, researchers have shown that these small genetic changes which are popping up in our blood cells as we age have very important implications for understanding who is at risk of eventually progressing to cancer and cardiovascular disease. Typically, when we're trying to understand the earliest initiating events in cancer, we sample sections of tissues from tumors. That means that an individual already has cancer, and then we look at the genetic composition of those samples and try to infer those earliest initiating events. What the human blood system does is it gives us a snapshot, this window into our biology so that we can start picking up these earliest initiating mutations and then associating that with the later transformation of those cells from a healthy cell into a cancerous cell, which provides us with an incredible resolution to really start to advance cancer risk prediction. This is where large population health studies like the Ontario Health Study become so critical. The Ontario Health Study, or OHS, is sampling blood from hundreds and thousands of Ontarians and following their health outcomes over decades. This means that we're able to go and we're able to pick, start picking up on these genetic mutations and then identify which of those mutations might be the most important in later understanding cancer risk. What this means is that we can start to better understand how to serve the Ontario and Canadian community better as a whole in predicting and treating cancer.